from supplying the British Army in both world wars to being the main outfitters for football hooligans around the UK. Join me as I go through Burberry's iconic history. Before we get into today's video, please leave a like, a comment and also subscribe. And if you do like these type of videos, I've got a whole catalogue of these videos on my channel. So after this video, please be sure to check them out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So Burberry was founded in 1856 by Thomas Burberry at the age of 21. However, for roughly like 20 years, uh, the brand didn't really make too much progress. But in 1879, Thomas Burberry created the infamous Garbanine material. This material was a lightweight waterproof cloth. This material was used in various different clothing in the Burberry catalogue. This assisted Burberry in becoming a certified brand. And in 1891, Burberry released its first store in London. And then roughly 10 years later, in 1901, Burberry created its infamous logo. This is when Burberry started to get the ball rolling on becoming the brand you know as today. In 1907, a record was set for the first man to ever travel to the South Pole. And this man was wearing Burberry. This assisted Burberry in getting their name out there. And in my opinion, this was a very good marketing ploy. However, Burberry's priority suddenly shifted as World War I broke out. Instead of just minding their own business, Burberry actually assisted the British Army. They did this by providing clothing slash uniform to the British soldiers. Oddly enough, this actually gave birth to Burberry's iconic trench coat. Moving on to 1920, Burberry created its iconic check pattern. However, this pattern was only used inside of the trench coats at first. But in 1940, Burberry found itself supporting the British Army yet again as the Second World War broke out. And yet again, they supplied the British Army with clothing and also equipment. After the war had ended, in 1960, Burberry started doing fashion shows. This was an attempt to bring the brand worldwide. In 1964, Burberry became the official sponsor of the women's team in the Olympics. And just one year later, in 1965, it was claimed that one in five people had Burberry coats in the UK. In most brands' cases, this would be like the peak of the brand, but not in Burberry's case. In 1967, it was claimed a buyer in Paris uh, took the iconic check print out of the trench coat and began to experiment with it, putting it on a umbrella and also some luggage. And then after they presented it to Burberry themselves. Burberry loved the concept and started using the infamous check print on numerous of items. This in my opinion is what catapulted Burberry into new heights. And from then on celebrities started to wear the Burberry brand and just giving it a bit more exposure. This in turn is probably what molded Burberry into the luxury brand you know as today. And in 1994, Burberry expanded its brand to the Chinese market. And this would pay dividends in the future for the brand. So in 2002, Christopher Bailey uh, joined the team of Burberry. And he was to play a big role in the Burberry brand onwards. Christopher Bailey unintentionally oversaturated Burberry's checkmark by using this checkmark on majority of the Burberry items. And this was around the time the football hooligans started adopting the brand. Football hooligans was wearing Burberry so much that it got the attention of Burberry itself. And what they did to cater towards the football hooligans is lower down their prices on majority of their items. Also, a factor for Burberry lowering their prices may be due to the sales not being as high as previous years. And a combination between being heavily associated with football hooligans and lowering their prices, Burberry was sort of stepping away from being a luxury brand unintentionally. The unintentional football hooligan association got so bad that public places actually started banning people that wore Burberry. This in turn tarnished the brand's image as a luxurious brand. This problem for the brand lasted from 2001 all the way until 2006. However, in 2006, Angela Arntreds became the CEO of the brand and was brought in to bring back Burberry's reputation. One of the ways that she did this was removing the check mark from 90% of the Burberry items. This was a big shock because the football hooligans mostly wore the check print. And also what she did is boost up the prices of Burberry's items. This in turn brought back the brand's luxury reputation. And in 2007 Burberry created its website. 
and this is what made Burberry truly go worldwide and in 2012 Angela finally restores Burberry's reputation as a luxury brand and by the end of 2012 Angela was the highest paid CEO of that year. Angela managed to take home 17 million that year and for good reason since Angela joined Burberry she managed to generate the brand 3 billion. After her time with Burberry she actually joined Apple which in my opinion is a very very big move. So in 2016 the China extension actually paid off as the brand actually exploded in the Asian market. The brand's highest point of revenue actually came from the Asian market that year and for years to come Burberry continuously saw growth in that market. Rolling into 2018 Burberry actually reported that it had been burning unsold items. They had reported they've been doing this for the past five years and the reason for this is to make items more exclusive and stop insiders from reselling the items for cheaper. Also in 2018 Burberry created another logo. This logo was called the TB logo standing for Thomas Burberry and in my opinion the reason why they created this is to go up against the brands that have been doing the all over prints recently. Brands such as Fendi, Louis Vuitton and others. But regardless, this logo is still a very nice logo. Fast forward to today, Burberry still remains Britain's number one luxury brand. And still is a big brand with a lot of upside to go. So that's going to be it for today's video. I did hope you enjoy. And if you did enjoy, please leave a like and also subscribe. And until next time, I'm out.